All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, the only reason why I'm starting here is because I actually just looked and I uh, had skills. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Now, the one thing that I am doing here is uh, as far as Joel, Drac, PB, and Liam, I just sunk six points into their newest skill that they unlocked which was their uh, third power-up. As far as Korra and Vetra, I am actually doing those strategic. Uh, the other four I am doing just willy-nilly, just for, you know, whenever I go to do their next run, I'll automatically have the points to where I can do them strategically. And then Korra and Vetra will be the, excuse me, the, uh, the uh, just willy-nilly. And then, of course, I also just looked. They only need about 70, 80 some odd points till they are full up. Me, I need 600 and something. I, I, I just looked up the number, but it's like 660, 670, 680 something. I don't know. It, it's in the 600s. But as of right now, I have everything done. I am actually at Explorer rank 3. And I need 33 skill points in each of those for rank 4. So, 33 skill points. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. That would be 15 more points in combat. Uh, let's see, seven more points in biotics, and another 15 for tech. So, that's 37 more points. So, 37 more skill points. And I will have Explorer rank four. So, yeah. Anyways, now when we last left off, uh... Let me do this real quick. There we go. Now, when we last left off, we decided... Oh, right. Right. Rank three. Uh, when we last left off... Let me save it here. We decided to go to Sam Node. And pretty much say, Hey, Sam! We've got some more memories that we need to do. So, without further ado, here we go. Right one of your father's memories is available. Play. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I mean the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an M7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't going to lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Oh my um, god. To get a root canal. <laughs> <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? <laughs> oh, that was good. Classic Sam. That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Dad did need to hear it. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even yep. though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. 
I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Sweet. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Play it. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Hmm. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. <laughs> well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mon? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh, you're both looking taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um, I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad, when you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us, Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Hmm. He so badly wanted to power up Sam. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. Yeah. People get busy. Scott and I were trying to start our lives. A course that seems to have been influenced by your father. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? No. Sure, I suppose. Yeah. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, hmm. I'll keep working on it. Hmm. That's all for now. Of course. Huh. All right. So just from that, I believe I've got maybe, just from the looks of it, uh, and how it's actually progressed since that's only like three or four memory triggers total I would say I've got about six to ten more I mean it, it might get you know smaller progression steps but still anyways uh, messages books the heck when studying an extinct oh Right. Okay. Your yeah, father's personal logs. <sighs> okay. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. Occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Okay. Huh. Ryder, Barla Bond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. 
Alright. As a Gethin Korean State? and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked a revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Nifty. I mean, not nifty as in, wow, that's amazing, but... You know, it's just, it's very interesting. There's a better word, better phrasing. It's very interesting to, to find that, to find that out. I mean, Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No, maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. <laughs> anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> All right. So it looks like I have two more encrypted logs. So that would be fun. All right. Hmm. All right. So with that, get rid of that. Huh. All right. Okay, so I gotta go to Vault either way. Uh, find worlds to evaluate. Jal. I'll speak to him on the Tempest. Okay. Uh, Arknatanus survivors or debris. That one's gonna be a ways away. So, yeah. Let's go talk to Jal real quick. Jal. I, I don't know how to say his name right. Uh, they're saying that. Forgot for a second where I was going. This way. <laughs> and up. Wait. Oh no, I can't go in there. Okay. Okay. Ducking Bay. You know, when you would think in the future they would have sunlight everywhere except for the quarters, which could be either daytime or nighttime via walls and lights. You would think that, but no. It's not going to happen that way. Huh. That would be his return to normal. Sorry. Right. Didn't mean to bump into there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, and return to Tempest. All right. <sighs> you know, the one thing that I've actually been hearing here on YouTube is the fact that a lot of people actually don't like that just to get back to the Tempest, you have to return to orbit. It's actually very weird that you have to do it like that. It, it really is. Yeah, I'm going. 
I mean, it, it is extremely weird. You have new email. I'm going yeah. through now. Pretty swear words. So, yeah. you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Aksul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant or anything except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous. And he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havaro who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's going back to Havarl. Hmm. Alright, so... Where is it? AVP status. Okay. Hmm? Eh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, 15% or more credit for Apex missions. Uh, ten percent bonus to XP for completing encounters. Uh, hidden caches around established forward stations. Tech materials at re regular intervals. Organic materials. That's consumable supplies. Okay, so I need this one. Tech materials. Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice. Perfect. All right, and go back. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So I need 20 total. Huh. Neat. All right. Ooh. Remnant alloy, remnant... Whatever. Okay. Uh. All right. So. Either we get to go back to Havaro. Or. Let me get rid of that. Or. And I will go there, but I want to go here, because I do want to get that Asari arc. 
Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go to Vold anyways, so... There. Set that one. While I'm on Vold, I will get those two, but still. For now, at the very least... Out more. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Ah, yeah. That's, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... Ah, yeah. That's the other... Uh, that's, uh... Jal's homeworld. Or, well... The homeworld that they're using at the moment. So, let's go here. Saving. Or whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay. <sighs> this system looks mostly unexplored. It was charted once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. True. Anomaly detected. And hit. Probe away. Anomaly Element found. zero. Nice. We want element zero. Okay. Past 13, past 33, get steer. Past 15, let's go over here first. All right. Anomaly detected. Yep. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's right in here somewhere. Yep. There we go. I found something. Ice sheet. Huh. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. And then up here. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Okay. All right. About past 33. And skip. Okay. I know. Detected. This right here, right? Yep. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Ooh. Milky Way research data. Nice. Okay. Nothing else. Alright, and now, Gestir. Absolutely nothing. Okay. And now we're out of Sabing. And go over here, and then go to Nalesh, and then go to Vold. Joba! Joba! And while it's transitioning, I'm going to take my shirt off again. Sometimes I forget how small we are. <sighs> you do not know how unbelievably hot it is in this house right now. I don't know why either. Okay, so absolutely nothing on the scanner there. The Tafo. Skip. <clears throat> yeah, go. Anything? No. Okay. So then, a half four, a half four. Uh, skip. A half four. Nothing. Not even a little itty bitty moon. No. Okay. Okay. Ronhaden. 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 Man. Anything? Nothing on the scanners. <coughs> hey, gum. Tarosh. Tarosh. Ah. Okay. 
And scanner. Nothing. All right, Jova system. You guys are done already. Okay, let's go over here to Nalesh. Right. Mineral wealth from this system once meant industry on fold and well beyond. One day that might be true again. Anomaly on sensors. Got a reading from the asteroid belt. Ooh, this could be good. Ah. Uh. Okay, I thought it was something to do with the arcs. Okay, right here. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Right. Tijerana. Nothing. Okay. Gasimo. Gesticulate much? I don't know. Gasimo. 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 No. Okay. And last but not least, Suyana. Whole bunch of different names. I can barely pronounce any of them, and I'm probably pronouncing half of them wrong. The other half that I'm not getting wrong, I'm probably messing up. Okay, on to the Vold. On to Null. Null. On to the Null system. Let's go to Vold! Boom! Warp tube! Oh, nothing to say there? Okay. It's fine. Okay, so Vold's there. I'm picking up something. Probe away. Tracking okay. a huge mineral deposit. Nothing else? And just three planets, really? Are you shitting me? Either way. Copper. Nice. Okay, past 55, the Tivios, the Tivois, even, and then Vold. Vold. I guess you'd have to say it Vold. I don't know. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. There we go. Deploying probe. And left of a ship. Angar and escape pod. Okay, never mind. Anywhere else? No. Good. <sighs> I'm just gonna call this one Ditevoir. A hurricane. Deploying really? Probe. Getting a scan. Okay, carrying a sort of nitrogen adapted plankton over the ocean. Huh. Nice. All right. And now, bold. Skip. There we go. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. <laughs> All right. Trail of Hope, Settling, PB, Cora, and Meet the Resistance. <sighs> Let's touch down. All right. So I got my pistol. I got 
What is this? Done three. That's a sniper, I think. Or is that a shotgun? Shotgun. Oh yeah, that's a good shotgun too. And then my pistol. Uh oh yeah, that's right. I did get the Omniblade three. Yes. Okay. Uh armor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I decided to go with this. Uh oh, oh yeah. Okay, so consumables. Ooh. Uh boost life support capacity allows the user to survive hazardous environments no longer outside uh, longer outside of the nomad. No effect on combat. Ooh, the cover RPG. Nice. Uh disruptor ammo. Incendiary overdrive. Uh, reloads all weapons, recharges all powers, temporarily boosts accuracy and damage reduction. Nice. Uh, and then that's shield capacitors. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Alright. Consumable 1, consumable 2, consumable 3. Cut! Nope. Not yet. Vetra and Kura. Yeah. Uh, Alright. I hate doing it, Kura. I love you, Vetcher. I hate doing it to you, Cora. But, uh, yeah. Jal, I think I might need you for this one. Uh huh. Alright. And, I believe confirmation is in order. Take her down, Callow. He designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angarai, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. Ooh, okay. So, Vold's in an ice age, then. That's what I'm getting out of it. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. I'm ready though. Whoa. Uh oh. We're good. We're good. You sure? Want us to get out and push? Yeah, <laughs> funny. Very funny, Ryder. All right. Let's do this. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Negative 52.34 Celsius. Good place Shit. for a secret hideout. Snow and ice camouflages everything. Where are we meeting yeah. the resistance team? Sent you the nap point. Good luck, Pathfinder. Holy shit. Okay. Need a right ahead. Alright. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyak when we arrive. Okay. You guys were talking over there and now you're over here? Fuck you for teleporting. Okay. Yo, hi guys. Hello. You found me back. This is all I've sent. Next to the others are wiring on the shuttle pad. Alright. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Alright. Are you the pathfinder that Ephra was talking about? That's me. We're the team assigned to breach the facility with you. 
Hopefully rescue Moshai Sefa. I'm your pilot. The camp facility is on the other side of the planet. Ready to head out? <laughs> Not yet. I'll be back. And we'll be here. Okay. So I'm going to explore a little bit. The ambient temperature is normal. Okay. So I'm going to check something real quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to check something real quick here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a memory trigger there. Memory trigger there. That's two. That's something. Memory trigger there. That's three. There's something. There's something. No, okay. Uh, and the one over here is a trail of hope. Okay. All right. So I figure the best thing to do is because yeah this is just temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall okay i'm reading a normal temperature range pathfinder life support is stable okay there we go container take oh that's a shit mode hell yes Another container. Yay. Okay. We're gonna need some kind of stimulant. Well, I have the jar in sooner. Ooh. We're out of everything else. Okay. Okay. Uh. human is a pathfinder. Looks like the plies aren't getting through to the resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. Hmm. We should speak with him. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. Weird. All right. Huh. Looks like medical supplies. Probably shouldn't tamper with them. Yeah, probably not. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> What's over here? Terminal. Ooh, lovely. Alright. Okay. Alright. Interesting. What's down here? Okay. Good to see you again, Commander Dulzeal. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozeal, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice. Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Oh. I had to be funny. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. Mm. Definitely talk strategy. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? Ooh, maybe later. That's it I think now. I'd probably take the uh, I'll be here if you have any questions. Mm, yeah, I, I think I'd take the off enough. Ooh, terminal. Okay. 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 Hmm. All right. What's down here then? 
Alisk. You, sir. I needed to Pathfinder. talk. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planetside, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. All right, that works. And that would be here. Yeah, my friend. Welcome home. Encryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. All right. I think I'm just going further and further down now. Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Map, map, map. Okay. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I am just going further and further down. Ooh, there's the drop point right there, too. Okay, uh... So, yeah. Alright. Tempest, okay. we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Alright. That is mining. Oh wow. So I've been going up this whole time, not down. Neat. Okay. Right. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. The eyeball snack last time. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Time. You're so good at guilting me. Life see. support is stable. There we go. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Hmm. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here, to see? So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Mm. Those red lights, you said that's Hajara? Yes, Hajara Station, one of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. Hmm. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. 
Even the cat seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Huh. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Thanks. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, huh. stay safe. Of You'll course. be safe too, Jarl Amadarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Hmm. Okay, so the red lights, I'm assuming there. And then the white light over there. Huh. All right. Weird. Hmm. Okay. I'm reading right. a severe temperature drop. Yeah, yeah, I got it Life under control. Back online. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna go back down, I guess. Come on. Okay. Alright. Give me a double dose of summer, quick. Huh. Wait a minute. Did I get turned around? That's not cool. Oh, yeah. It's this way. This way is the way I gotta go. I remember now. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get under here. Alright. I know this is a short video, but I'm gonna save it here. Cause I think the next little bit's gonna take a while. So yeah. Hmm. Let me get rid of these. So we've actually learned a lot with this. And I'm actually surprised at everything. It's very weird. Hmm. Oh, here we go. And then this one. No. But yeah, so I mean, we've actually learned a good amount. Oh, that's right. Okay. And. Oh. That would be this one. Okay. Whew. And the one thing that I can really not understand is pretty much the fact that everything is like this. I mean, it's been 600 years since, since, uh, since the Andromeda mission started. So pretty much in those 600 years, all of the perfect worlds that had been investigated fell into ruin, whether it be through cat interference or here on Bold, an ice age. 600 years is a long time. So, obviously, a lot of the worlds are going to be like that. And then, of course, when they find Aya, it's beautiful, lush, green, amazing. The only bad thing about it 
is we're introducing not just another new species as far as the aliens are concerned, but at the same time, one peaceful alien set and one not so peaceful alien set. That's what I'm trying to get at, but the worst thing about it is if I screw something up, we could turn into the next cat. I mean, yeah, sure, we're like multitudes of different uh, different types of people. Uh, let's see, there's Turian, Solarians, there's Krogan, Human, and then of course the Corian and Geth are not here, and then of course the Asari are here too, but still. I haven't seen a Corian, I haven't seen a Geth yet. So I'm assuming that they decided to stay behind. Otherwise we'd probably have a Corian uh, arc that's missing. So yeah, it's it's very weird. But still, why didn't the Corians want to come with? That's a new question, actually. Is it because of their suits? Is it because they wouldn't be able to survive cryosleep? Is it because they would have to go to cryosleep or go through cryosleep with their gear on? Because either way you look at it, it's it's a big step either way. And then of course the Geth, I mean... There's that whole, you know, Geth hates all living things, you know, not... So they wouldn't really be helpful in any way. But still, I mean, it's weird. Anyways, that's my thoughts on it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm going to get back to it here in the next day or two, I think. But still, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Of course, as always, happy hunting.